In this video, I want to show you how you can find percentage of quantity using multiplicative strategy. So we want to look at finding percentage of a quantity in different ways. Okay, so let's look at the first question, 12% of 50. So uh, this is one strategy, so I'll think like this. Okay, what is 10% of 50? Okay, so I say, well, 10% is one tenth of this, so that is phi. Okay. So then what is 2%? Okay, now I want you to think logically. Now 2% is how much of 10%? 2% is 1 fifth. Okay, so if you divide 10 by 5, you get 2%. Okay, so if you divide to get 2%, you have to divide 10 by 5, you get so you have to divide 10 by 5 to get 2%. So you do the same thing to this number. So divide by 5, so that is 1. So this is one way of doing it is 12%. 10 plus, 10 plus 2 is 12. So 12% would be 6. So this is one way of doing it. So I want to think in a different way. Uh, this is... Uh, there's nothing wrong here, but instead of saying 12% of 50, 12% of 50, 12% of 50, let me write the statement, is same as, if I make this 100, is suppose of 100, is same as what percent of 100? So what I've done is, I have half, I've doubled 50. So I want you to understand the ratio. This is also a concept of ratio. 12% of 50 is same as some percent of 100. So what has happened to this number? This I have doubled. If you are doubling this, to maintain the same ratio, you have to halve this. So you have to divide this by 2. So that is same as 6% of 100. And 6% of 100 is 6. So this is what my focus in this video is to do like this. So let me erase this. This is the traditional way of doing it. We want to think in a different way. So saying, we're going to say, say 12, this is same as saying 6% of 100. So what I've done is I've changed this into 100. So if you change this into 100, you have to double this. Sorry, if you, you have to halve this. So this is times 2, so I have to divide this by 2. So 6% of 100 is 6. So that is easy, six, that's why I made this 100. Okay, so let's look at the next question. 45% of, 45% of 200 is what? Okay, so 45% of 200, so I want to write of 100. So 45% of 100 is same as saying 90% of 100. Okay, so we'll confirm this. This is 90% of 100 is 90. So let us check this. So what is 50%? 50% 50 of 200 is half of that, which is 100. And what is 5%? 5% is 1 tenth of this, isn't it? So that is 10. I hope you understand. You divide this by 10 you get 5, so you have to divide this by 10. 100 divided by 10 gives you 10. So if you take away, you can also take away, so you can say 45% is nothing but 90. So if you know if you know how to work this out, you can do it faster. So I have doubled this number, so this is, sorry, this is half, 200 I have halved, so half of 200 is 100, so I have to double this to maintain the same ratio. Okay, 15% of 60. Okay, so how can we do this? So 15% uh, of 60, so let's think like this. So this is 15% as a decimal. Can we say this is uh, 0.15 times 60? Okay, so I want to maintain, uh, change this into, uh, change this into 10. 
Okay, so that is this I have divided by 6. So to multiply by 6 here. So I hope you understand this. And then I've, I've divided this by 6 to get to 10. So to maintain the to get the same answer, you have to increase this by 6. So 0 .16, 0 0.15 times 6 is 0 0.9. Okay, so that is 0 0.9 times 9. And 0 0.9 times 9 is simple, which is 9. Which is 9, yeah. Okay, so let's check it in a different way. So it's always good to check whether our thinking is right. Okay, so let's find 10%. 10% of 60 is 6. So 5% is 3. Okay, there's nothing wrong in this, but we are trying to think in different ways. Okay, let us look at this. 62% of 40. So if I write this, I want to write this of 10. Okay, so this has become, this I have divided by, divided by 4. Okay, this is divided by 4. Uh, so this is 62% of, so if you divide this by 4, you have to multiply this by 4. Okay, so, uh, so this is, if you multiply this by 4, so let us let us do 62 times 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So it is 248 percent. This is a bit tricky. 248 percent of 10. 248 percent of 10 is nothing but 24. Uh, 2.48 as a if you want to write this as a decimal. So this is 2.48. Percent means 2.48 times 10. Okay, and 24, 2.48 times 10 is nothing but 24.8. Okay, so this is 24.8. Okay, so let me show this in a different way. So what I'm saying is, this is, let me write this. 62% is same as 0 0.62 times 40. Okay, now let us check this in a different way. So this is, if you halve this, suppose if you, if you halve this, you have to double this. So if you double this, this is 1.24. Okay, so what I've done is, so let me show this, 0 0.62 times 40. So let me drag this up. Oops. Okay, so let me show scroll this to this so menu and run uh, 0 0.62 times 40 okay is 24.8 okay and 1.24 times 20 is also 24.8 so what I'm doing is we are not using calculator so this is same as I'm um, again halving this if you halve this you have to double this number so that is 2.48 and 2.48 times 10 is 24.8 so this is called doubling and halving strategy so the 120 percent of 120 percent of 50 is same as 1.2 times 50 so i want to make this a whole uh, a hundred so this is times hundred so this is equal to, this is equal to. So if you double this, you have to halve this. So half of 1.2 is 0 0.6. Okay, so and 0 0.6 is 6 tenths. 6 tenths times 100, which is 60. So here the answer is 60. So 120% of 50 is 60. Okay. Okay, the next question, 40% of 32. So this is 0 0.4 times 32. Okay, how can we do this? So 40, 0 0.4 times 32. So if you make this, uh, this is suppose if you make this 0 0.1, this is, you're dividing this by 4. 
we have to multiply this by 4. Okay, so 40% of 32 is 0.4 times 32. So I'm changing this, I'm, this I have divided by 4. I've divided this by 4, so I have to multiply this by 4. So 32 times 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 3 is 12. So it's 128. So which is 0.1 times, so this is 1 tenth times 128, which is 128 divided by 10, which is 12.8. So let us check this. Okay, what is 10%? Okay, so let us check this like this. Okay, so what is 10% of 32? 10% 10 is uh, one tenth of this, which is 3.2. Okay, so 20%. 20% is double of this, which is 6.4. And so 40% would be double of this which is 12.8, and that's what we got using multiplication strategies, okay.